Hey, what's up? It's Sam Richardson, and I'm here in Michigan and in my hometown, Detroit. Home to four major sports teams, the best fans, and so much to see and do, including the 2024 draft, which is why I'm making my top picks to show why Detroit's such a great place to visit or call home. I'm on the clock, so let's go. For my first pick, I'm taking the Planet Ant Theater and the Ghost Light Bar. Catch a play, catch a comedy, sometimes even catch me improvising on this stage like I used to 20 years ago. Uh, can I have a suggestion of a location that might fit on this stage? Belle Isle, uh, Detroit River. Can I have another suggestion? One Petoskey Stone. It's, uh, it's harder than uh, it used to be. DCW Airport. Down the hall, you'll find Ghost Life Bar, a chill spot to unwind or meet up after a DCFC match. Pardon my French, but cheering on La Rouge is the most magnifique football experience in all of Detroit. Merci. That's French for mercy. And one of the team's biggest fans is co-owner Alex Wright. He and I met up at the Foling Warehouse, my second selection, to discuss his squad and its connection to the community. Football bowling. Each amazing on their own. Yet even more amazing. Together. Together. This is Foling, a game invented by tailgating Detroiters and now loved by all. One second. Nope. So, Alex, what sets your club apart from other fandoms? There you go. Well, DCFC is like the ultimate house party. It's a community celebration. Sure, soccer's at the center of it, but there's songs, there's chanting, you name it. It's a really good throw. And there's smoke bombs too, you know? Yeah, a lot of smoke bombs. People love smoke bombs. So did you ever think you'd help build such a prominent club? DCFC is a grassroots effort, but it was the community that helped us build it to what it is, similar to Planet Ant or Fulling Warehouse. Fact is, everything is possible in Detroit. Yeah, like a uh, hot dog flavored ice cream, a petting zoo for motorcycles, a restaurant that sells shoes. So you look at the menu and then you say, I'll take loafers and a side of Chianti. Brilliant. After rocking it out on the foaling lanes, I'm ready to cut loose. So my next select takes me to Paramita Sound, a portal to Detroit's ever-changing, always influential music scene. I do this all the time. I'm sorry, got my best map. Sam Richardson, yeah. Grab the bat. Around the beat. Quick. It's going down, oh my God, it hit a car on Woodward Avenue, but everybody's fine. In fact, they're very happy it hit. Now I gotta go, and I go get the ball. I sign it, and, I, and they're like, thank you. And then, I, you know, we exchange uh, insurance information. Thank you, Pyramid Sound, for helping me find that perfect track. And now it's time to eat. So I'm selecting my go-to spot, a true Detroit staple, Lafayette, Coney Island where I celebrate Detroit sports victories by scarfing down my signature order of a Coney dog. It's a Coney dog. You got quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers. And you have these true athletes. Watch as he moves with the grace, balance and the poise. He ducks past <laughs> and touchdown. Now that's a real Detroit Coney. And I consider myself to be a bit of a connoisseur. It's that onion, that chili, and of course, the dog. And of course, it's all in a bun. That's the Tony. And for my last pick, I'm at one of Detroit's most stylish and iconic shops. And speaking of icons, Barry Sanders is here to announce my fifth pick. It's Hot Sam's. Thank you. This oh-so-cool clothier has kept Detroiters looking their hottest for more than a hundred years. And just like the players selected in the draft, Barry and I are here to make sure we show up looking our best. So Lauren, what makes Detroit style so distinct? We're bold, we're daring, 
uh, we stand out, right? And so I think we have this Detroit swag that is undeniable. Well, you know a Detroit player when you see one anywhere yeah. in the world. You do, though. What do you wish more people knew about Detroit? I wish people knew that we've always been special. We've always been authentic, right? Set apart, um, particularly from our roots, which is our history, our legacy, the culture, right? So we are trendsetters. So I'm happy that other people are gravitating towards what the city is. Is that popping out to I mean, you? That's popping would out. Would you do that? I mean, I would, I could. Do you dare? I should. Barry, what's a style must for football players? You asked the right guy. Something like this. Sharp. What do you think? I'm telling you, that is fresher than the Great Lakes. Great Lakes, that's why they call it drip. Thanks to Lauren and Hot Sam's for helping us suit up in that Detroit swagger you won't find anywhere else. All right, on three. One, two, yeah! And those are my top picks. But we're just getting started, because just like the real draft, everything's possible when it comes to Detroit. Check out my picks and more at michigan.org 2024 draft.